How much is that? Make me an offer, because I just literally pulled it. <laughs> All right. How about three dollars? Um. Morning. How are you today? I am great. How about you? Doing well. I love this weather. <laughs> this one says 15 on the camera. Is the other one 15 also? No, you take everything for 15. Both of them for 15? Yeah, I don't okay. know what goes with what. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay. I'll leave it there and okay. I'll just keep looking around. That's all right. And you need a tripod? Tripod's ten. Ten bucks. We bought the tripod to go with that. <laughs> okay. I think I'm probably good on that, but thank you though. Okay. At one country, they did not declare a national emergency. Yeah, like this. I will say Scandinavia. It's not Scandinavia. It's a big, big country. Since we'll think that country did not declare a national Sweden. Sweden, that's what it was. Sweden. But, but our government did. I just I got thoughts on that. Let me pay you for those cameras. Okay. Do you have any video games, Nintendo or anything? I'm sorry, what? Do you have any like video games like Nintendo or anything? I don't. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have the remote for this? I have no idea. Okay. You know, we just put out whatever. So. Do I pay you in here or do I just go in the other rooms? You just go ahead okay. and go, yeah, because you'd pay back there. The cashiers are back there. Already? Can I set these up here while I'm looking around? Yes, you may. We have these boxes here so people can set their stuff down. Perfect. Thank you. I think I'm ready to pay. Okay. I've got um, those three pieces there, and then I've got <laughs> these three here too. Um. Hmm? Ten? Yeah, that's fine. Does that make it? Yeah. How much are you asking for your uh, cat litter boxes? Um, probably two. Two dollars each. Mm -hmm. You've got eighteen of them. So that'd be what thirty-six dollars. Yep. Um. 
I better pass on them. That's a great deal, but I just don't think I can use them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck with the sale. Already? We can use this. Um, put it up somewhere in case that There's a dollar. These were a dollar. I don't know what the stuffed animals are. Oh, um, a dollar. Okay, so I'm up to what, three? Three, yes. All right, that's two. Five. Two. Seven. Uh, soft back books. Those are 50 cents. Seven fifty. And then I've got this for three. Just that tapes. Oh, okay. It just said all for three bucks. Had three dollars for a bag. <laughs> okay. Ten fifty. Ten. Is this that other guy's or is this this guy's? No, that's his. There's eleven. Don't worry about the change. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. you. Have a great day. You want? Oh, you got a bag. Yeah. Kind of worked out like that. that. How much is that? Make me an offer because I just literally pulled it. <laughs> All right. How about three dollars? Um, how four? I'll four. four. All righty. Yeah. It's never been open. You have any other Wii controllers or anything? See ya. No. The only thing I have is this protection thing and these games. All righty. There you go. Thank All right. you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm back from the garage sales and I found a lot of really good stuff today. Got this VCR for a dollar. It is the Sansui brand. It doesn't have a remote, but I've done pretty good selling that brand before. I got these plush dolls, Billy Button and Jelly Button. Couldn't find comps. They seem to be a little bit rare or uncommon, whatever. Those are only 50 cents a piece. Got some vintage mouses or mice. I don't know if the plural of a computer mouse is mice or not, but whatever. Uh, these were $2 each, and I think they're complete with everything in there, all the packaging and stuff. I got this Beavis and Butthead. I think it's like a video game guide. Virtual stupidity, all you need to do to beat the game. Um, it was 50 cents and you know, anything vintage Beavis and Butthead type stuff I pick up. I got this whole bag of cassette tapes for $3. I think a lot of them are not gonna be very good. See what we got here. George Strait, Ricky Van Shelton. There were a couple that I saw 
I thought would make it worthwhile. Here's a Joe Walsh. Bad Company. Aerosmith. Ooh, ACDC. That's a good one. Looks like it's in there too. Um, I think there's just some blank tapes in here. Alan Jackson. Fabulous Thunderbirds. Clint Black. Gary Chapman. Nothing amazing, but I've already got some uh, cassette tapes over there somewhere, so I'll make a lot with those and these, and I should do all right. Got a Frank Sinatra record for a dollar. Got this jumbo Winnie the Pooh plush with the tag for five bucks. And then the rest of the stuff is all over here. One sale, I got a number of things for $10. Uh, that was this glove right here. This is a Lefty McGregor glove in pretty good condition too. This is a Mad Cat's MC2 steering wheel. Has all the packing material, but it's definitely been used. That should bring $30 or so. I got this Sony uh, DVD VCR combo, no remote, unfortunately. Let's see what else was in that $10 spent there. Uh, this Game of Thrones season one on DVD, PS2 uh, SpongeBob video game, and these uh, Oster Clippers, uh, model 96. Seems like these are selling for about 30 or 40 bucks. I think that's everything from that sale. They had these cat litter things new in the packaging and they only wanted $2 a piece for them. It was super cheap and I thought long and hard about like, do I wanna mess with these or not? Because there was like a dozen active listings, only one sold and they were only going for about like 15 plus shipping, something like that. The problem is they were big and awkward. Like it would take like a, 16 by 14 by 10 box to ship the thing so the buyer is gonna have to pay a decent amount of money just to ship it so there's that going against it since they're only selling for about 15 dollars if i'm two dollars into them i'm probably gonna profit about ten dollars which is good money i'm definitely not sneezing at ten dollars profit but the amount of space they would all take up there was 18 of them so they would almost fill one of my racks just storing those things and I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want to mess with these because I don't know how long they take to sell. If I knew they were going to sell quick, you know, if there was a high demand for those, I think I would have bought them all. But I was just like, I don't think I want those right now. So I passed on them. But I'm sure somebody else got a good deal on them, you know, that came after me. All right. One sale, there were some camcorders. Let's see. It was this Panasonic one right here, which I wasn't particularly crazy about. I don't know that this one's worth a whole lot. Panasonic palm quarter photo shot. Yeah, this this probably isn't worth much money, but this is the one I wanted, and it was just a package deal album for 15 bucks. Um, this is a little Sony Handycam, uh, DCR SX44. Didn't look it up. If I had to guess, that's probably 40, 50 bucks, something like that. And then it looks like there's all kinds of accessories and stuff in here too. This was a great find. A Wii Remote Plus. Um, this is new in the packaging. I got this for four dollars. Looks like it's selling for like sixty or seventy bucks. Okay, the rest of the stuff is down here. This is a Black and Decker uh, Space Maker toaster. I rarely find Space Maker stuff. Um, anytime I do, it seems like it's really beat up in horrible condition. Um, when I say Space Maker, basically there's all kinds of different products that you can attach like underneath your cabinet and they kind of show it here and it's to save space. So there's like toasters. I think it might have some other, yeah. So like coffee pots, toasters. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Some kind of little oven or something. They make CD players and radios and all kinds of like space maker stuff. And it seems to sell really well. I paid five bucks for this. She said she never used it. It's still got all of the packaging material in here. There's like some styrofoam and different stuff. So I'm hoping this does well. I haven't even looked it up yet. So let's look this up, see if it's worth anything. Okay, it is a Black and Decker Space Maker Toaster. Okay, let's go to completed listings. Okay, mine is model T1000. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the search. All right, five results. Looks like a brand new one sold for $90 plus shipping. Used one sold for 45 plus shipping. Open, open box, 195 but they took a best offer. So I think 60 bucks, maybe $70 would be pretty realistic considering this has really never been used. So there's Bolo for you guys, Space Maker stuff. I think it was really popular in the 90s, but I don't really think they're making it anymore. Okay, last but not least, I've been asking for video games all day long. 
pretty much every sale I went to, I was asking if they had video games, if they had vinyl records, and it finally paid off. Didn't get any footage at this sale, unfortunately, but I asked for video games, and the older couple said they had some Atari stuff, so they brought it all out, and it did not disappoint. There's a big stack of manuals here. I mean, look at this. There's a ton of them. I think they've got a manual for every single game. Atari stuff is not worth a whole lot of money, unfortunately. So, I'm going to pull this out here. I've got like three or four power cords, which is kind of interesting. That one's Atari. This is just for some kind of like phone or something. That is Panasonic. And that's Atari. Okay, so they've at least got the two power cords and a joystick. There is a... Which model is this? I really don't know a whole lot about Atari, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, I think this is the original. And then this is, what is it, the 2000? 2600? Atari 2600? Atari is a, just a little bit before my time, so I don't know a whole lot about it. I do know that it's not worth a ton of money. What I'm probably going to do is make two lots. I'll make a lot with a system and maybe half the games and then another lot with this system and the other half of the games. And I might just do an auction for them. Uh, I might do a quick look and see if any of these games are worth selling individually. I doubt that's the case. But if they are, I've got the manuals to go with them. Let's see. Spider Fighter, Sword Quest, Vanguard, Cubert, Miss Pac-Man, Double Duck, Donkey Kong. I've heard this E.T. game is worth a lot because a bunch of them got destroyed, but I think that's just a myth. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.